Hi guys, this video will be explaining which camera you should choose for the best live streaming video, as well as how to set your live streaming settings. Hi everyone, my name is Nisha. Welcome to our Q&A video. We hope to enhance your experience with live streaming. Today we have Edwin, he's our marketing manager and he will be giving us the best tips on live streaming. Welcome. Thank you, Anisha. Great to be here. Good. So two main points that our audience has brought up were which cameras to use and how to set your settings. So in a market with so many cameras, right. how would one go in choosing the best camera to have the best live streaming video? Well, that's a good question because um, when it comes to video making, quality is first. And um, like you said, in, uh, in the market flooded with uh, all these professional cameras, uh, what to choose? Many people would um, go out and buy the best DSLR that they can afford. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't suggest that because um, they're very expensive and that also depends on the kind of content, the kind of uh, video that you want to make and also the budget. Even the lesser, uh, the less expensive alternatives like the, the mirrorless cameras that uh, Nikon, like a uh, Nikon uh, Z, Canon R and e or even the Fujifilm uh, X-T3, they are mirrorless cameras that are less expensive than DSLRs but they are still expensive. Mm -hmm. So um, like I said, depending on the content, what you want to do. Most of the time, a mobile phone and webcam can do the job. A mobile phone would be good if you are live streaming on the go, and a webcam would be good if you are live streaming in an office er area like where we are now. And nowadays, many webcams have uh, high definition quality. Okay, but what about cell phones? Do they also have the HD capacity? Yes, uh, they do. Most of the mobile phones today have HD capacity. Oh, that's and, wonderful. Yeah, and most, uh, most, some of the advanced, more advanced, advanced ones can even shoot 4K. So that's good. Oh, that's great. Which brings us to our second question. How would one go in choosing the best settings to have the best results? Well, your audience has a lot of great questions. And they definitely do. Yeah, and they're tough <laughs> to answer. Um, this, uh, as far as setting goes, it again, it depends on many things. It depends on um, the frame rate, the resolution, the bit rate, the internet, the internet speed, the quality that you have, and the hardware, the computer that you have. And it also depends on the uh, the platform that you stream to. Mm -hmm. So most of the time people stream to YouTube, uh, Facebook and Twitch. You need to check uh, check the, 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 the quality of the video in, the, in each of these platforms. Okay, well if ever you want to check that out, you can go into our blog link and you're going to find the recommended settings. And uh, by the way, speaking of bit rate, ManCam can help you set a bit rate by going into settings and automate bitrate settings. Oh, that's great. Yeah, but um, the most important thing I think is to have a dry run to make sure everything goes well before um, uh, making a uh, public video. So um, the platforms that I mentioned before, um, they have the ability to allow the users to record their videos in private. So um, in the private mode, you make sure everything is okay. There's no latency, there's no lags before uh, you share your video to the world, to public. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as I know, Facebook, for example, has mentioned in their website that they have a latency of two to 20 seconds. So bear that in mind. Well, it's a wrap for today. Thank you very much, Edwin, for your recommendation. You're welcome. If you have any more comments or questions, just please leave it below. And if you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more videos. 
This is your host, Nisha, and I'll see you next time.